So I can reveal that my FM21 beta save is going to be with... What is going on guys? Jack here and welcome to this little FM update video or should I say channel update video. Football Manager's out in the next week. The 2021 beta is on the horizon and this is just one of those update videos. The last time I was here I was telling you that I've quit my job. There's not quite as much exciting stuff to tell you today, I'm sorry to say, other than the fact that Football Manager's on the horizon, which, if you're like me and you're stuck in lockdown, probably is the one thing you're living for right now. I do want to just say kind of a reflective thank you. Um, this year's been a crazy one. If you had told me 12 months ago, ahead of FM 2020's launch, that I was going to have quit my job and be sponsoring a 10th division team in England that I'd managed in Football Manager probably would have laughed at you but uh, that is the situation that we find ourselves in that is the world that we find ourselves in there's probably a few other things you could have told me that were going to happen this year that i would have laughed at you about and said that's not happening most of those have happened but yes yeah, seriously the support this year has been absolutely insane the channel has gone from strength to strength i'm unbelievably excited for fm21 because uh, I feel like for a lot of you guys, it's going to be your first time experiencing a launch with me. For those of you who have been around a while, I feel like hopefully you know what to expect at this point. But allow me to fill you in. We've got a beta save going on. Um, it's going to be the first save game of the year for the beta save. I like to manage a bigger club. It's the rare chance I have to manage a superstar team in Football Manager. This year, we're managing Manchester United. Yeah, I'm a Liverpool fan managing Manchester United. I mean, look. I was going to do a ruining Manchester United, but Ollie's already done that in real life. So I thought, let's just show what I would do with Manchester United. I feel like they're a really interesting team to manage this year. I am not someone who um, has, I suppose, real world football allegiances bleed through into football manager. I'm not the person who fist bumps when Liverpool win the league for a fifth year in a row with Klopp playing Gingham Press. It's just Liverpool win another Champions League. Come on, let's go, Klopp. Let's go. Come on. Champions League, look at it, look at it, four, five in a row, five, let's go, come on, let's go football manager. Not how I play football manager, so with that in mind, I have absolutely no problems managing Manchester United, and I think this year they're going to be a really interesting and popular beta save. Um, the whole point of the beta save is just to allow me to get used to the game, you know, it gives me two to four seasons to, I suppose, get comfortable, have a chance at managing one of the bigger clubs, and it is something that just holds a wide appeal with people, you know, searching Football Manager, especially when the game is in its launch window. Alongside that, we're going to have a load of guide videos, hopefully some beginner stuff, some slightly more advanced stuff. Um, the typical videos, how to find the best regens, you know, just general tactic guides, um, all sorts. If there's something you would like to see me cover, get it down in the comments. Maybe it will get added to my little red notebook of ideas. I'm not going to show the ideas. This book's full of them. Millions of ideas, not millions, ten hundreds of ideas for content coming your way. And uh, just hopefully a real variety of Football Manager content that you are going to be able to enjoy. I've tried to prepare everyone. In, in case that isn't obvious, I've got a notepad. I've written physically stuff down. I, my, my wrist has not had so much action since the other evening. It's going to be an exciting time here for FM 2021's launch, and I hope that you're looking forward to it. Thinking slightly longer term, um, you know, long term saves on YouTube, it's something that everyone's asking, Jack, what's the main save this year? The truth is I've not really 100% settled on anything yet, which might seem a little bit mad to say. What I am leaning, leaning towards is a lower league save. It probably would be called Park to Prem again, um, but it won't be in the kind of 10th tier like Taulor was, and I would be looking to move between clubs. I'm thinking we may be starting the Vanarama North or South, or unemployed, try and get a job at that level. And unlike last year, where I fell in love with a team and ended up sponsoring them after a sinkhole, this time I will actually, you know, move between some clubs along the way. I feel like the whole concept of that was something that people really got behind uh, when FM20 kind of park to prem was going on i could see a load of people searching for fm19 park to prem i didn't do it in 2019 but clearly people were like hoping that there was a, a series that they could binge watch that they hadn't already seen and with that in mind i feel like park to prem has the potential to become kind of my thing i suppose something that has my branding attached something that people associate with me and after the success of last year, I think feel like it'd be silly not to try and replicate that again this year. Over on Twitch, we are going to be doing live streams on the regular. I'm looking to do five a week, you know, two or three hours of live Football Manager gameplay. So if you want to hear my voice more, that's a good place to go and hear more of my voice. I mean, you're 
that who wouldn't want to hear more of it it's beautiful i know i know it's be- uh, uh, you're you're crazy you're crazy but yes in terms of the pentagon challenge whilst i'm not doing anything strictly pentagony over on youtube over on twitch we're going to be doing something loosely related to the pentagon just because i've realized not everyone is going to know what a pentagon challenge is the pentagon challenge is a football manager save game where you start unemployed no coaching badges no past experience and you try and win the five champions leagues of the different continents around the world so asia africa north and south america and of course europe Um, the issue of the pentagon challenge really is that the save game gets really slow when you're loading in lots of leagues It becomes difficult to jump into, I feel like, after a few years, if you've maybe not seen the earlier seasons. And thirdly, it gets a little bit snowball-y towards the end. As you can imagine, that's lots of leagues and lots of nations you have to have loaded, which I don't think works that well on YouTube. Um, Additionally, I feel like when you get to some of the slightly more obscure leagues, there's a little bit of a, shall we say, a slowdown in interest. And with that in mind, I feel like on Twitch I can do a much better job with it all. So over on Twitch, we're going to be doing... It's kind of like the Pentagon, but not. Essentially, we're going to focus on one continent per save game throughout the year. So the first save game may be in Europe. That's not decided by any means. We will start unemployed, no coaching badges, loading a whole variety of leagues within Europe and try and win a Champions League starting from absolutely nothing. And of course, when we're successful there... We'll then move on to another continent in a whole new save game. That way, it doesn't snowball once we get a few coaching badges and have a little bit of success, and we get to endure the fun of the lower leagues of the most random nations around the world, which, let's be honest, when I'm managing in the Malaysian third division, not knowing any of the rules and wondering and questioning all my live decisions, it's going to make for great live streaming content. So if that sounds appealing, maybe check out the Twitch page. It's twitch.tv slash work the space you could probably could have guessed that really the, the, below me you can there it is hit hit that follow button you get notified when we go live and uh yeah just as a little bit of a heads up i suppose over on twitter i am currently giving away a couple of copies of fm21 check out the pinned tweet again link down below for that if you've not got fm21 yet there's there's your chance to win a copy well that's kind of going to wrap things up from me today as i said just a little bit of an update video a little bit of a chit chat it's nice to sit down just you know splurge my thoughts out into a video i suppose so yeah if you have got any questions maybe there is something i forgot to address in this video leave it down in the comments i will be reading all of them i will be replying to all of them i hope you're excited for fm21's beta be that on monday tuesday wednesday thursday if it's any later than thursday i'm gonna cry um i'm really excited for it i'm sure you guys are too and uh well this will be the last video of the fm2020 cycle get ready for what's to come i'm excited you should be too it is me jack And I'll see you guys next time. I'm out.